It's that time again. You guys love our VFX videos. So today you're gonna learn three cool effects, part three. All right, effect number one is gonna make your face melt off. Let's start with a shot of Janik's face, framed nicely. Once you've got that, drag the footage onto the little comp icon in the project panel. Boom, we now have a composition with the same resolution and frame rate as our clip. No need to set anything manually, Love it. With your footage in the timeline, hit Ctrl plus D or Command plus D on a Mac to create a duplicate. We're going to isolate just the face on this top layer, because that's the part that's gonna melt. So now, grab the Roto Brush tool. You'll find that in the top toolbar. Select the tool, then double click on your duplicated layer to open it up in the layer window. This is where the Roto Brush lives. Now you can paint on your face with the green brush to select areas, and hold Alt or Option on a Mac to switch to the red brush and remove stuff you don't want. Once your selection is good, hit freeze so After Effects can lock in that mask across the timeline. That will save you a ton of processing headaches later. Now let's stay clean and organized. Rename your duplicate to Roto Face. Trust me, don't skip that. Now here's the thing, Roto Brush does not play well with others. So before we add effects, we need to pre-compose it. Right click the Roto Face layer, choose pre-compose, give it a name and hit OK. OK, time for the fun part. Select your pre-comp and add the CC smear effect to it. This is the core of our melt. You'll see two little crosshairs in the composition. Place the first one right on the face and move the second one upwards, maybe even off screen. Then crank up the radius and the reach until it's properly warped. Next, we're gonna add a directional blur and decrease the blur length. Already looking messy, but we're not done. Add a turbulent displace effect and start playing around with the amount and size until you get that nice gooey stretch. Now, to bring this melting to life, let's animate it. Open the evolution property on the turbulent displace effect. And here's the trick. Alt plus click on the stopwatch and type in time 20 or whatever speed works for you. That way the animation will just keep looping without any keyframes. But hey, if you're scared of expressions, click the video right here on the top left, you will learn more there. It's much easier than you think. All right, one more thing to really sell this, we want that GUI stream to have its own flow. So let's create a new solid layer. Right click in the timeline, go to new and solid, doesn't matter what color it is. Add a fractal noise effect to the solid. Play with the contrast, brightness and scale until it looks like something stretched out. Animate the offset so the texture scrolls upwards. Add a bit of directional blur to blend it in. Now here comes a trick. Set your face pre track mat to luma inverted mat and select the solid as the mat. And just like that, we have a cool face melting effect. Now perhaps you can add some glow, a color tint or whatnot. Boom, face melt done. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna show you something that will save you hours in After Effects. And that is by using the Storyblocks plugin for both Premiere Pro and After Effects. On Storyblocks, you'll get unlimited downloads of diverse and high quality media for one predictable subscription cost. Everything you need in one place. 4K and HD video, templates, music and sound effects, unlimited downloads, and you can choose for a monthly or annual plan with no hidden costs. Storyblocks, thank you so much for making my videos better and thank you so much for sponsoring this video. On other stock libraries, half of the videos are AI generated nowadays. That takes away personality and creativity. Now, on Storyblocks, you'll find real artist created stock media, which is irreplaceable for creating genuine connections with your audience. Generative AI is cool, but it can't replicate footage that captures genuine human experience with stories and emotions. That's why I'll always keep using Storyblocks on all my channels. It literally enhances the story I'm telling. To make it even easier, Storyblocks created restock collections to celebrate authentic stock content created by real artists. And that will again help you tell more powerful and authentic stories with unique footage. To get started with unlimited stock media downloads at one set price, head over to storyblocks.com slash After Effects Basics. Now let's jump into effect number two. And this one, it's melting space and time itself. We're going interstellar. We're doing a slit scan effect. First, grab a clip, doesn't matter what, but higher frame rate means smoother results results, like 120 FPS is perfect. Now bring the footage into a new composition. And just like before, we're going to create a new solid. Right click in the timeline, go to new and solid. Add a gradient ramp to the solid. Set it to linear. Make sure the colors go from black to white horizontally. That's all it needs. Once it's set, you can even disable the gradient layer. We're just going to use it as a reference for our displacement. Now create an adjustment layer and apply the time displacement effect under time displacement layer. Pick your gradient ramp 
time sell it and make sure you set it to effects and masks so it uses the actual gradient not just the flat color now adjust the gradient direction and displacement parameters to, to your liking and just like that your footage starts stretching through time depending on the brightness of the gradient and then there's our final effect the apparition effect yep like the teleporting spell from harry potter so let's start by recording two shots one with the person in frame and another one with just an empty background bring both shots into after effects place the person clip in the timeline and trim it where the teleport should happen at that point press ctrl shift d to split the layer on the second part right click go to time and choose freeze frame that will freeze the clip and hold the person in place now drop the empty background underneath the frozen frame with the roto brush rotoscope out the person from the freezed clip when it's done finalize the roto and then pre-compose the rotoed layer name it something like apparition body next duplicate that pre-comp for each limb one for the head torso each arm and each leg rename them so you don't get lost now mask out each limb corresponding to your layer name then let's make the first limb disappear magically with the layer selected grab the pen tool and draw an open swirly mask path on one of the limbs just a line do not close the mask then we want to copy the mask pad by hitting ctrl plus c next we go to the layers position property and paste the data by hitting ctrl plus v boom now the limb travels along the path to make it face the right direction right click the layer go to transform and click on auto orient a new pop-up window will appear and here we can enable orient along path if it's flipped weirdly in the beginning of the apparition effect fix it by adjusting rotation and use the anchor point to fix the position of the limb next we're gonna swap it add three puppet pins across the limb and use them to blend it along the motion path as it animates now turn on motion blur and add the echo effect in echo settings set the operator to maximum increase the number of echoes and set the time offset to something like minus 0.03 now repeat that process for every limb if you want you can make the animation faster by selecting all keyframes holding alt and dragging the last keyframe closer to the beginning keyframe and to top it all off add a quick camera shake and a light flash when the body vanishes completely and boom there you go now if you like these three effects check out the video right here on my left to learn even more easy effects in after effects thank you guys so much for watching